there's a story about a Russian aircraft struggling to survive, the Sukhoi Superjet 100, once the pride of Russia's aviation industry and expected to make a breakthrough in the regional jet market. However, SSJ-100's journey has been fraught with challenges from both internal and external factors, threatening its very existence. Why has this aircraft faced continuous obstacles? Can it overcome these difficulties to continue operating and evolving? Let's dive in! The SSJ-100 is a regional jet developed by Sukhoi Civil Aircraft, a division of the United Aircraft Corporation now operating as regional aircraft under Irkut Corporation. Launched in 2000 to create a new commercial aircraft for post-Soviet Russia, the project began with research into a Russian regional jet in 2001. An analysis of the domestic market revealed a need for an aircraft with a range of 3,000 to 4,500 kilometers, longer than that of traditional regional jets. Sukhoi initially planned three variants, the RRJ-60, RRJ-75, and RRJ-95, offering seating for 60, 78, and 98 passengers respectively in a five abreast configuration. The potential market was estimated at around 800 aircraft, with 250 to 300 destined for Russia and other CIS countries. On October 15, 2001, the Russian government approved a $46.6 million investment to develop a regional jet with a capacity of 70 to 80 passengers, targeting a first flight in 2006 and service entry by 2007. At that time, Sukhoi's RRJ competed with projects like Myasishchev's M6070 and Tupolev's Tu-414. To meet international standards, Boeing provided consultancy in program management, engineering, marketing, product development, certification, supply chain management, and customer support. The Sukhoi RRJ also received official backing from Rosavia Cosmos, Russia's aviation and space agency, in March 2003. Between 2003 and 2015, the program secured an additional $63.5 million to develop an engine with a thrust range of 8,800 to 11,000 pounds force. Four engine options were initially considered, the Pratt & Whitney PW800, Rolls-Royce BR710, General Electric CF348, and Snecma NPO Saturn SAM 146. By July 2002, the BR710 and CF348 were eliminated, and the PW800 was later rejected due to technical risks. Ultimately, on April 29, 2003, a memorandum of understanding was signed with Snecma to use the SAM 146 engine, which would deliver between 14,000 and 17,000 pound force of thrust through a joint venture with NPO Saturn. In October 2003, Sukhoi selected key suppliers, Thales for avionics, Messier Bugatti Doughty for landing gear, Honeywell for the auxiliary power unit, Liebherr for flight control systems, and others for fuel, hydraulic, and interior systems. Market forecasts projected about 600 aircraft by 2020, capturing 10% of global demand with estimated sales of $11 billion. Certification efforts, including an EASA application in 2004, followed discussions with Air France and the SkyTeam Alliance. In February 2005, the Komsomolsk on Amur plant was chosen for final assembly, and the project then focused on the RRJ-95, the largest variant, rebranded as the Sukhoi Superjet 100 at the Farnborough Air Show in 2005. On December 7, 2005, Aeroflot placed the first order for 30 SSJ-100. To better visualize the differences, let's compare the SSJ-100 with one of the most popular aircraft in the same segment, the Airbus A220. But wait, thanks for sticking around until now. We are on a journey to reach 40,000 subscribers, so please help us by hitting the button if you haven't already done so. Thank you for your tremendous support. Both the Sukhoi SSJ-100 and Airbus A220 are regional jets, but they exhibit distinct characteristics. The SSJ primarily serves short to medium haul routes with a capacity of around 98 to 108 passengers and a range of approximately 3,000 kilometers. Meanwhile, the Airbus A220, originally developed as the Bombardier C-Series, incorporates modern technology and offers higher efficiency. The variant 100 of A220 accommodates about 108 to 133 passengers, while the larger variant 300 seats 120 to 150 passengers. 
Additionally, the Airbus aircraft boasts nearly double the range of the SSJ, reaching approximately 6,300 to 6,400 kilometers, enabling it to serve longer routes with superior operational efficiency. Its advanced design provides significant advantages, including fuel savings, reduced noise levels, and lower maintenance costs, making it a strong contender in the global market. Regarding engine thrust, the SSJ is powered by two PowerJet SAM 146 engines, each producing around 78 kilo newton of thrust, for a combined total of approximately 156 kilo newton. Designed mainly for the Russian and neighboring markets, the aircraft has seen some success, but also faces challenges related to performance and maintenance, particularly concerning its engines. In contrast, the Airbus A220 features state-of-the-art engines with superior performance. The variant 100 typically uses engines delivering about 110 kilonewton of thrust each, totaling around 220 kilonewton, while the variant 300 can achieve even higher thrust levels. This difference in engine power grants the Airbus aircraft better acceleration, takeoff performance, and overall efficiency, particularly on long-haul routes and in challenging operational environments. This advantage makes it more attractive to global airlines seeking cost-effective operations and network expansion compared to the SSJ, which primarily serves regional markets. Therefore, while the SSJ is well-suited for regional flights with moderate range and capacity requirements, the Airbus A220 stands out with superior technology and efficiency, meeting the demands of airlines aiming for economic optimization and route expansion. But is this Russian plane popular? Let's see which airlines operate it. In 2000, Sukhoi projected sales of approximately 800 new aircraft, with market distribution goals of 35% for North America, 25% for Europe, 10% for Latin America, and 7% for Russia and China while the remaining units were reserved. It comes as no surprise that Russia's largest airline, Aeroflot, operates a significant fleet of SSJ, although most of these aircraft are flown by its subsidiary, Rossiya Airlines, primarily for transporting government officials. As of July 20th, 24, Rossiya had 76 superjets in service, with eight currently inactive and an average fleet age of around 6.8 years. Aeroflot, has also confirmed an order for 89 additional superjets in the SSJ new variant, which is domestically produced using Russian-made engines and components to minimize imports. However, in mid-2024, Aeroflot announced plans to phase out the SSJ-100 and 2214, replacing them with 339 MC-21 aircraft, despite ongoing delivery challenges for the MC-21 program. Currently, Red Wings operates a fleet of 20 Sukhoi Superjet 100s and plans to add 15 more, alongside an order for 16 MC-21 aircraft. The airline also operates two 204, two 214, and three Boeing 777s, allowing it to efficiently serve various regional hubs across the country. Notably, Red Wings had previously phased out the SSJ-100 entirely in 2016, but reintroduced it into its fleet in 2020. This is an airline that was recognized as the world's most punctual carrier in 2021, despite operating a diverse fleet that included imported aircraft such as the Airbus A320, A321, and Boeing 777. Recently, regional airline Aurora has also placed an order for two SJ-100s, scheduled for delivery in 2035, adding to its previous order of eight SJ-100s. Notably, a tragic incident significantly impacted the aircraft's orders. The SSJ-100 accident at Sheremetyevo Airport, which resulted in 48 fatalities, harmed the aircraft's demand. Following the incident, S-7 Airlines requested Sukhoi to modify the flammable composite flooring and later canceled its order. Besides S-7, several Russian airlines, including Yamal, Azure Air, Gazpromavia, Yakutia Airlines, Irero and Severstal operate the SSJ-100 to varying extents. Yamal owned 14 units, but has removed four from service, while Azure Air operates 20, mostly long-range variants with an average age of under seven years, but has placed an order for the Airbus A220 after. In addition, other carriers utilize this aircraft for both domestic and international routes. In Mexico, approximately 20 SSJ-100s remain in storage due to infrequent use, 
with many having been dismantled, making restoration difficult. Although the Sukhoi Superjet 100 is considered Russia's most successful regional jet production achievement, it still faces significant challenges. First, the SSJ-100's utilization rate remains low. In 2018, its average daily utilization was only about 3.6 hours, significantly lower than competitors like the Embraer E-170, operated by S-7, which averaged 6 hours per day, or the Embraer E-190 of Pegasus Fly, which reached up to 10 hours. The main reason for this is the shortage and disruption of spare parts supply, coupled with issues related to the PowerJet SAM 146 engine. In reality, this engine only operates between 1,000 and 4,000 hours between overhauls, instead of the announced 7,500 to 8,000 hours. This has led several airlines, including Mexico's Interjet, Belgium's Brussels Airlines, and Ireland's CityJet, to abandon the SSJ-100. As a result, Russia is considering and developing the PD-8 engine as a replacement to improve operational efficiency and reliability. However, this effort faces many difficulties, which we will discuss further. Second, another domestic Russian aircraft, the MC-21, is still in development, prolonging the time needed to bring a new product to market and hindering the expansion of the domestic fleet. Furthermore, sanctions have made it difficult to source foreign components, affecting not only the SSJ, but also older models like the 2204 and 2214, which rely on imported parts. As a result, the development of the domestic PD-8 engine is seen as crucial for the future of the SSJ-100. However, mass production of these domestic engines is only expected to begin in 2025, and their performance has yet to be proven. Retrofitting this aircraft with domestic engines could be very costly, potentially as expensive as a new aircraft, while the current stock of SAM 146 engines is not compatible with the upgraded SSJ new version. Although Russian aviation authorities have committed to increasing Sukhoi Superjet 100 production, the challenges mentioned above could pose significant obstacles to the future expansion plans of the domestic aviation industry. What do you think about the future of this aircraft? Does it have the potential for further development? Leave a comment below and let us know your thoughts. Thank you and have a safe flight.